Just two hours drive north of Johannesburg at the foothills of the Waterberg Mountains. Specialist artisan Oni Simbunda is building a set of Zimbabwean marimbas for the upcoming festival. He was encouraged to move to South Africa by his brother Michael, who's a music teacher. The Zimbabwe marimba was uh, designed at the Kwanongoma College of Music in Bulawayo. During the 1960s, it was decided that we needed an instrument that could be rolled out into the township schools so that the children would be taught uh, music education. The college looked at two traditional African instruments, the Salimba from Zambia and the Chopi marimba from Mozambique. So these two instruments were put together and out of that, this is where the Kwanunguma marimba originated. The material used to make the marimba keys is known as the wood that sings. It's made from mukwa, which is a hardwood that is found mainly in Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Mukwa is, is very resonant, that is why it was selected to make the keys and, and because it was also easily accessible in Zimbabwe. Once the key has been pared down to the correct length and width, only tunes it by ear. If the pitch is too high, he shaves off layers of wood to lower it. To give the marimba a rustic African look, Oni burns the wood with a blowtorch and then fine tunes the key with a chromatic tuner. Traditionally, resonators for the bass and baritone marimbas were made from calabash gourds. But these proved to be fragile and hard to get in the right sizes. So today, fiberglass is used instead. The resonator is actually also tuned. The bigger the resonator is, the lower the pitch. The smaller it is, uh, the higher the pitch. And also the opening of the resonator also determines the pitch. Once the resonators are attached to the frame, the instrument is tested to make sure it's correctly tuned. Against the backdrop of Letlapa Pula Game Park, the place where water seeps from the rocks, Oni's band gathers at sunset. They are joined by dancers from surrounding farms. The song that has just been performed is called Chamtengure. It's a traditional Shona piece that originates from Zimbabwe. And as the distinct buzzing sound of Zimbabwean marimbas echo across the expansive African landscape, Oni says he feels proud that he has played a role in sharing the rich traditions of his country with his southern neighbours.